In exploring this book, I learned more about Leonard, and perhaps not more, but a great deal about Leonard that I hadn't known before. His vast and historical interest in uh, photography, his, uh, what he wrote, uh, the things he wrote, some of the movies he was in, and the plays that he did, and the musicals he was in. A musical? What? I didn't know he was in a, in a that he sang in a musical. I drink out danger, I drink out of warning. We both had gotten criticism. Uh, we, we were both made fun of, in a way, by having our voices on uh, some records, actors who thought they could sing. Take me on a trip, on your magic swirling ship. So we both laughed about that. But he was doing it professionally and, and doing it well. It was a, wow, I didn't know that. The rivalry, I guess, would be a term, could be used, it's dramatic. But it was just the push and shove of actors finding their way in a new venture. Had we known each other earlier, I don't think that would have happened. But uh, on that occasion, uh, as a young actor, everybody hungry, there was some jostling, but it wasn't any more than that. I'd like uh, all those fans to take away the knowledge of how a wonderful a friendship I had with Leonard Nimoy and uh, how dear he was to me. Friendship uh, is very difficult to have, to get, because what happens between actors on a movie or a television series or a play, the passions of the venture bond you. When the venture is over, you say goodbye, best friend forever. And there are instances where you say, man, I'll call you tomorrow, Let's, we'll have lunch. And it never happens, and it's all, all gone. And in the business we're in, where you're roaming a lot, solid connections are difficult to make. And I cherish the one I had with Leonard.